Hi, this is Chuck Hughes. In today's video, I'd like to discuss my high accuracy option trading program. Uh, I developed a simple three step process uh, to select option trades with high accuracy uh, many years ago, and uh, this three step uh, process has been very successful over the years. Uh, I'm showing you a snapshot of one of my uh, option portfolios. And as of today, it has a uh, average return of 110% uh, with all of the trades uh, being profitable. And um, today, I'd like to share with you uh, three what I call high probability uh, option trades. Now, in my options trading with high accuracy report, I go into detail on uh, the three steps uh, for trading options with high accuracy. And in the report, I uh, document over two and a half million dollars uh, in actual trading profits uh, with 94% accuracy. So uh, this uh, three-step uh, trade selection process uh, has a, a long history of uh, uh, profitable success. Now I also use the uh, Keltner channels to help me uh, select uh, option trades. And uh, the Keltner channel is a very useful tool that can be uh, easily downloaded from uh, stockcharts.com. And uh, I'm displaying a uh, price chart for uh, US Steel and uh, the Keltner channels. And uh, there's an upper uh, Keltner channel, uh, the middle channel, which is the uh, dotted line, and the lower channel. And uh, the Keltner channels uh, uh, act as an overbought, oversold indicator. And uh, whenever a stock is trading near the upper uh, channel, it's becoming overbought, and it, it will usually rechase back to the middle channel or lower channel. And whenever the uh, stock is trading near the uh, lower channel, it's becoming oversold, and that's usually a good uh, uh, entry uh, signal uh, when the stock is becoming oversold. And uh, you can see uh, for U.S. Steel, uh, there was a couple times when U.S. Steel stock actually uh, closed below the lower Keltner channel. It, it doesn't happen that often, but usually when that happens, there's a very powerful rally that follows. So uh, I like to keep an eye out for uh, that type of signal as it usually results in a high probability um, buy signal. And uh, uh, we can also use the... Uh, Keltner channels to help us uh, select an option strike price. And uh, they also uh, allow you to select stocks with repetitive and predictive price patterns. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, three high probability signals uh, that I think would be uh, good to trade right now. So let's take a look at the uh, first uh, example of a high probability trade. Uh, this is for uh, the uh, ProShares uh, Ultra S&P 500 uh, ETF, uh, symbol SSO. And uh, this is a double beta uh, S&P 500 index uh, ETF. And um, uh, you can see in the lower uh, left-hand corner of the price chart there that the uh, SSO actually uh, closed below the lower uh, Keltner channel last August. Uh, now since that uh, uh, the, uh, since that buy signal uh, SSO is up uh, 58 percent. Uh, now that's the return for the ETF. Of course uh, with options they're leveraged and uh, if you're trading options you'd have a uh, higher uh, uh, percent gain depending on uh, which option you select. So uh, this is an example of a high probability uh, trade signal. Uh, the SSO got very oversold. And uh, you can see uh, from the price chart that there's been a very strong rally since this oversold condition. So uh, more recently, uh, this month, we had a, uh, another uh, high probability buy signal 
when uh, the SSO uh, actually closed uh, below the lower Keltner channel. Uh, it, it became very oversold and uh, I've always, uh, through, through experience, I've always found this to be a, a, a very good time to enter uh, a long position, either buying the ETF or stock or buying a call option. And uh, I'm also displaying uh, a copy of one of my brokerage confirmations and uh, right after SSO uh, closed below that lower Keltner channel, uh, I purchased a uh, call option, a uh, September uh, 44 strike call option on SSO. So uh, here's the first of our three examples of uh, stocks that have been have become oversold and uh, I'm uh, purchasing uh, call options as a result. Here's another example uh, of an ETF that uh, became uh, very oversold and, and the ETF actually closed uh, below that uh, lower uh, Keltner channel and um, I have uh, two of these type of what I call high probability buy signals uh, circled there. In the lower left corner uh, uh, you can see the uh, ETF actually uh, closed below the lower Keltner channel uh, in July and uh, since that occurred, uh, the QLD has uh, rallied 77% uh, from this oversold uh, condition. And, and again, if uh, this is uh, the return for the ETF itself, um, the return for uh, an option on uh, QLD, of course, would be higher depending on uh, which option uh, you select. And um, more recently this month, uh, the QLD um, uh, closed below the lower Keltner channel um, and uh, this was another uh, high probability uh, setup and uh, you can see from the price chart uh, from this oversold condition last July that there's been a, a very strong rally in QLD so uh, uh, when it went th this month uh, w when it became oversold again and I got another buy signal. Uh, you can see from my brokerage confirmation that I purchased uh, an option on QLD. This was the uh, July 85 strike call option for QLD. And here's another example of uh, a uh, high probability buy signal. This is for Sina, the uh, Chinese internet company. And uh, last May, uh, Sina became oversold. Uh, the stock closed below the uh, lower Keltner channel and since then has had a 232 percent rally for the stock. And uh, more recently, last month, uh, Cena closed below the lower Keltner channel and again this set up another high probability buy signal and Cena is actually is, is trading up towards the uh, upper Keltner channel so on this one, I would wait until uh, the stock retraces back towards the middle channel, which is the dotted line, uh, before I would buy uh, a call option on this stock. Now I've been using the uh, high accuracy option trade uh, selection process to select uh, option trades for my inner circle advisory service. And uh, as of March 1st, the option portfolio has $144,000 in open trade profits, uh, an 80% uh, average return, 18 winning trades, and no losing trades. So uh, the uh, trade selection process has been performing well uh, in the Inner Circle Advisory Service. And if you'd like uh, updated profit results uh, for the option portfolio, just log on to chuckhughesic.com. This is Chuck Hughes. I want to thank you for listening, and uh, I wish you the best in investing success.